Hi, welcome to Chemistry Lab videos by Dr. Anima Upadhyay. In today's video, we will discuss about the viva voce questions which could be asked if you are doing an experiment to estimate copper in the brass solution using standard sodium thiosulfate solution. When you are doing this experiment, anyone will ask you what are the reagents required to perform this experiment. And your answer will be to perform this experiment, the reagents required are a standard solution of sodium thiosulfate, concentrated nitric acid, urea, ammonium hydroxide, acetic acid, 10% solution of potassium iodide, that is Ki, a freshly prepared solution of starch. How you will dissolve the brass to bring it in the solution? To dissolve the brass, I will take a small piece of brass and weigh it on the weighing machine. Then transfer it into the conical flask to which I will add concentrated nitric acid and in nitric acid the brass gets dissolved. After its dissolution I will add urea to it and one test tube of distilled water and put it for boiling on a hot plate. Once the walls of the conical flask becomes clear I will Remove the flask from the hot plate, cool it under the tap water and transfer the solution in the 250 ml volumetric flask. Dilute the solution up to the mark with distilled water. Place the stopper and mix it to make it homogeneous. Now you have said that you added nitric acid to dissolve the Brass. Yes, I added nitric acid to dissolve the brass. What happened when you added nitric acid to the brass plate? When I added nitric acid to the brass plate, dense brown fumes were evolved. What are these brown fumes? These brown fumes are the oxides of nitrogen. So what are the various oxides of nitrogen? The various oxides of nitrogen could be Nitric oxide, NO, nitrous oxide, N2O, nitrogen pentoxide, N2O5 and nitrogen peroxide. Why you added urea to it? I added urea to it to destroy these oxides of nitrogen. How these oxides of nitrogen are destroyed? By urea. By addition of urea, the urea reacts with the oxides of nitrogen to produce nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide along with water and this is how the oxides of nitrogen are destroyed. How do you come to know that all the oxides of nitrogen are removed? These oxides of nitrogen has a deep brown color. So when I kept the conical flask on the hot plate after addition of urea, the walls of the conical flask were deep brown but slowly it became transparent, showing that all the fumes of oxides of nitrogen are now destroyed and removed as nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Which solution you are going to fill in the burette? Standard solution of sodium thiosulfate or the brass solution you have prepared? I will fill standard solution of sodium thiosulfate in the burette. And the brass solution will be used for titration after pipetting out in a conical flask. Explain the procedure of titration. For the titration, I will pipet out 25 ml brass solution to which I will add a few drops of ammonium hydroxide from the burette till a bluish white precipitate is formed. I will add one or two more drops of ammonium hydroxide till it turns to deep blue. Then I will add around 5 ml of acetic acid from the burette and followed by the addition of 10 ml of 10% potassium iodide with the help of a test tube. With the addition of potassium iodide, it turns to 
reddish brown precipitate in the conical flask which I will titrate with the standard solution filled in the burette till this color turns to pale yellow. Then I will add a few drops of starch indicator. With the addition of starch, it turns to bluish black. Again, I will add sodium thiosulfate from the burette till the bluish black color turns to milky white, which is the end point. I will repeat this to get a concordant value. So you are telling you have added ammonium hydroxide from the burette to the brass solution. Why you added ammonium hydroxide? The ammonium hydroxide was added to neutralize the mineral acid that is the nitric acid. When was the nitric acid added to the brass solution? The nitric acid was used to dissolve the brass. So it was already present in the brass solution. What is the oxidation state of copper in the brass solution? The oxidation state of copper in the brass solution is plus 2. That is cupric. How it has become plus 2? Because the nitric acid is an oxidizing agent. So it oxidizes the copper to plus 2 state. That is the cupric state. And therefore the copper in the solution of brass is present in the plus 2 state. Why you added acetic acid? I added acetic acid to neutralize the ammonium hydroxide which is in axis and also to make the medium acidic. Why you added potassium iodide? I added potassium iodide because cupric ions cannot react directly with the sodium thiosulfate solution. So in this procedure of sodium thiosulfate standard solution titration, I have to add potassium iodide because the cupric ions that are present in the brass solution oxidizes the potassium iodide and liberates an equivalent amount of iodine from the potassium iodide. This liberated iodine is then titrated against the standard solution of sodium thiosulfate. So that means you are doing an indirect method of titration of estimation of copper. Yes, it is an indirect method of estimation of copper with the help of sodium thiosulfate solution. Why you have added the starch towards the end? The starch forms a water insoluble stable complex with the iodine. So if the starch is added in the beginning when the intensity of iodine is very high, the iodine will form a complex with the starch and then iodine will not be available to titrate against the sodium thiosulfate. Therefore, the starch is added towards the end point. What is the white precipitate which is obtained at the end point? The white precipitate is of cuprous iodide, Cu2I2, which is obtained at the end point. What is the formula of sodium thiosulfate? The formula of sodium thiosulfate is Na2S2O3. What happens when iodine and sodium thiosulfate reacts? When sodium thiosulfate reacts with iodine, it forms sodium tetrathionate and sodium iodide is formed. What is the formula of sodium tetrathionate? The formula for sodium tetrathionate is Na2S4O6. What is brass? Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. What is an alloy? Alloys are mixture of two or more metals or non-metals. Can you give some common examples of alloys other than brass? There are many common alloys which are very, very, very useful and have several commercial uses such as stainless steel, bronze, bell metal, solder metal, etc. What is the importance of determining copper in the brass? It is important to determine the percentage of copper in the brass because on the basis of the percentage of copper in any sample it can be used for various other purposes because the same percentage cannot be employed for all types of uses. Therefore it is important to determine its percentage. I have tried to deal with almost all the questions that could be asked when you are performing this experiment. 
If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment box. I'll try to answer them. If you appreciate this video, don't hesitate to like and share it among your friends. Let everyone be benefited. Keep smiling, keep watching. Bye. Take care.